Pisces! Welcome to your love reading from today, July 16th to the 23rd. Happy Eclipse Day, by the way. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So guys, just a heads up. I mean, no one tells me anything if they're doing construction or not. Apparently, there's some there's something going on. I don't know. I was hearing hammering, hearing a lot of banging. Um, it's I'm not going to lie. It's been kind of frustrating me because I'm doing readings, but I apologize in advance if that comes through in the audio, okay? Um, but anyway, Pisces, let's focus on you. So in your meditative session, it was actually, your energy feels really, really good. I was getting a lot of confidence off of you, a lot of self-love and self-appreciation. I actually heard mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? me. <laughs> um, you guys are just feeling really good about yourself and nothing wrong with that either. Um, and I, be, and I was also actually seeing mirrors as well. So maybe you're, uh, so with mirrors, mirrors can be portals. People could be watching you in your happiness as well. People could just be seeing you glow. There's a glow about you, Pisces, and I feel like it's really serving you well right now. So just roll with it. You know, it's going to lead you to a lot more, just a lot more happiness. You know, that's the energy you're putting out. So that's the energy that you're going to get back. Okay. But with these mirrors, some of you could be doing mirror magic. Some of you could actually just be looking at yourself a lot more because you're feeling a lot, a lot better about yourself. You're feeling really good about yourself. Um, but either way, just be careful because I do feel some energy you know, kind of watching you, keeping tabs on you, and that's coming across in the cards as well. Before we get into the pre-shuffle, they showed me some black pendants, black stones um, of different kinds. So some of you might be feeling um, pulled towards black obsidian, some of you might be feeling, toward, um, feeling pulled towards black tourmaline or any kind of like meteorite um, sort of stones as well, which are great. Like um, I have, what is it called? Tectite. I have Tectite, which is a really, really great stone for um, getting downloads and any crown chakra stuff, crown chakra energy, which would be ideal for anybody to be using right now with these eclipse energy. Very intense downloads have been coming in for people, not to mention Neptune still retrograding, which Pisceans, you're feeling that too. But some of you might be feeling pulled toward these, towards these stones. And if you are, definitely wear them. You know, especially black tourmaline, it's definitely a stone for protection. So because you're feeling so good, Pisces, some people might not be liking that so, so much. Some people might be feeling really irritated by that and that will protect you from that kind of negative energy okay all right Pisces so let's go ahead and get into your uh, pre-shuffle here so we have the ten of cups Piscean energy with the page of swords queen of swords in reverse Libra energy could also be air or water with the ten of pentacles in reverse Virgo energy and the eight of swords Gemini energy and then we end with eight of pentacles Virgo energy and three of cups in reverse uh, Cancerian energy here. So it's very, very clear, Pisces. Someone's definitely watching you be really happy, okay? Some of you might be finding yourselves in new relationships and maybe your ex is watching you or people are just watching you be super uber happy and they're watching you because they're maybe a little ticked about it. Some of you are, and again, that new relationship is coming in really strong, actually. Um, you don't have to be in a relationship to have the Ten of Cups. It's just about being super happy no matter where you are and no matter who you're around. But someone's definitely watching you in your glow, in your happiness. Now, over here, we do have the Eight of Swords in reverse with Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords. Someone, I'm getting, <laughs> I don't know I'm getting buyer's remorse because I don't feel like anything was bought, but that's what they gave me. So it's that kind of energy. Someone made the decision, I think, to leave Pisces, maybe even cut you out of the picture. Ooh, ooh, cut you out of the will. Oh, that's interesting. Sorry for any Pisceans who are suffering through that. They're def that came in really strong. That's only going to be for like a handful of you though. But anyway, someone I feel like definitely cut down on their Ten of Pentacles vibration. And I feel like you were a key part of that. And it's left them in a state of feeling trapped, feeling um, like they made a mistake. Pisces, if you're the one who did the cutting, it's definitely leaving them feeling um, very much in a grieving kind of state that they, they lost out. That they lost out, but they're watching you. They're def the person who definitely is in this Eight of Swords energy of grief. Oh, please focus. Thank you. In this Eight of Swords energy of grief because they've lost out, whether you cut them out or they did the cutting and they realized they made a mistake. I feel like for most of you, they did the cutting. I definitely feel that. For most of you, they did the cutting and now you're freaking happy and they're watching you in your happiness like, what? <laughs> Very much like, what? Pisces? I was hoping it would focus a second time, but it didn't. Anyway. And then we have <clears throat> this Eight of Pentacles and Three of Cups in reverse. Um, I almost feel like someone is throwing themselves into major discipline regarding some partying ways, some drinking, some drugging, trying to do less of that and maybe trying to be more disciplined with themselves, which is good. That's definitely part of the energy we're in with this eclipse. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, let me get some water. Mm. Mm. Uh. I'm also getting that some are trying to get themselves away from people that are 
not conducive to their long-term plan and their long-term happiness, whether that's you or this person who feels very much in a grief state over you or both of you. Either way, Pisces, you're happy and doing exactly what you need to do, but someone here is like hyper, hyper focused on getting away from bad behaviors, bad people, disappointments, bad social circle, you know, that kind of energy. I'm, I'm almost hearing like fly, flying solo, flying solo. I feel like that's this person because they don't know what to do with themselves. They could also be throwing themselves into work as well to get away from all of that. Okay, Pisces. Uh, that being said, let's get into your reading here. Um, for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, confusions on how to interpret a tarot reading as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below, okay? Even if you have questions you want to ask me, check out that video first. You might get your question answered, okay? All right, Pisces. Let's go ahead and go through this. You've got a major confidence booster. I feel like it is from self-love. Maybe some of you got... Um, mm, someone might have given you a little bit of a boost like maybe it was like a nice little flirting session or you know something of that nature you're getting you are getting complimented you are getting complimented a lot more than you're used to and you're just you're riding that train hang on to that energy it's only gonna serve you it's only gonna serve you any messages for pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd any messages for pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd and yes this can apply to more than just love but please watch that video because that's a question you'll easily get answered any messages for pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd okay that feels good There's a sense of loyal uh, sense, a theme of loyalty energy coming forward. Pisces, you're very loyal. You're very loyal people. Um, again, this could be vice versa. Loyalty is coming to the forefront, though. Is that being called into question? Highlighted. It's being highlighted. The energy of being of loyalty is being highlighted for you during this time. Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces? Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Ooh, page of pentacles. Okay. All right. Another watching energy here. This page of pentacles is very different in this deck compared to um, other decks, um, other tarot decks. Traditionally, it is just the page of swords. But in this deck, it's also the page of pentacles. You see, she's been literally outside <laughs> peeking in through a veil. She's been out in the cold. She's like, what the hell's going up? What's, what's going on? What's going on here? Okay. I'm feeling tangible communication from somebody. For some, it's just an old friend coming forward to talk to you. Yeah, for some of you, it's an old friend coming forward to talk to you, but it's tangible. So you're going to hear their voice. So it's either going to be like on the phone or in person. Um, someone who's been keeping tabs on you, though. Why have they been keeping tabs on you? Hold on. Yeah, they're just seeing you in your glory, they're seeing you in their in your glow, and it's like, wow, Pisces is doing real good. Maybe I should reach out. Pisces is doing real good. Maybe I should reach out. Any other messages for Pisces? Regarding love from now until the 23rd. The fool, will you take a chance, Pisces? <laughs> Sorry, Aries energy. Your energy is really fun right now. Uh, could also be Aquarius because this is the Uranus card. You could be a Piscean Aqua Cusper. Someone wants you to take a chance with them. Someone wants you to take a leap of faith with them. This is really interesting. Them even approaching you, I'm feeling like is a bit of a risk. Yeah, there had to be something that went on here. Something had to go on between you two for this to be coming forward because it's almost like, oh, it's kind of a risk to reach out to them, but I want to reach out to them. It, feel, it feels well-intentioned. It feels well-intentioned. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be um, water or air. Someone's not giving up the emotion, though. Someone's trying to play it cool. Pisces, you might be trying to play it a little too cool with this person. It's almost coming off as ingenuous. Ingenuous energy. I think, okay, thank you. This is how you view them. You view them as someone who's very ingenuous when it comes to their emotions, someone who's not exactly upfront, like someone who will just, just talk just to talk, right? Like, of course I love you. 
when they don't really know what that actually means. You know, it's it's that kind of energy. Someone who's a little ingenuous here. You might see them as someone who's been very emotionally manipulative with you. Oh yeah, see? Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Bring in drama. You see them as just bringing in drama. And you don't want any part of that. You're, you're feeling too good to be dealing with that. Any other messages for Pisces? Regarding love from now until the 23rd? Ooh, Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. It's interesting how these cards are coming out here because it's feeling very erratic energy, like back and forth energy. I think that's that that's the drama seeping through. That's the drama kind of seeping through here. Um, they want to come forward. They want to take a chance with you. They want you to take a chance with them. But I feel this energy of a Five of Pentacles that they've been feeling this for quite a long time here, Pisces. More than... Uh, more, Jesus, my words. Oh, Mercury. Longer than you, longer than you think. Longer than you think that they have been feeling very alone, very isolated, feeling like life has been kind of hard on them, feeling like the universe has been hard on them. I'm almost getting an energy of like a hole they can't climb out of. Also financially, I'm picking that up financially. You might be questioning if they're going to ask you for money, if they're, if they're only re-emerging just to ask you for money. Some of you are wondering that. Any other messages for Pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any other messages for Pisces regarding love? Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Yeah, you don't really want anything to do with it. <laughs> you really don't want anything to do with it, Pisces. You really want to turn your back on this person. I love you, Pisces. I turn my back on them for a reason. Yeah, this is definitely someone where there's been a rift, Pisces. It's Lazarus season. It's just the theme of the month right now, right? Theme of the season right now. People are returning left and right. But I feel like there's something you can you can learn from the situation with them returning like this. Even if it's just a little bit of a test, right? Even if it's just a little bit of a test of if you've really learned your lesson with this person, either way, you're going to take something away from this situation, even if you're going to end up turning your back on them, okay? On the bottom, yeah, Five of Swords, ooh, Aquarian energy. There's been a lot of tit for tat between the two of you. There was a lot of fighting in the past. There is a lot, and I'm getting a big sense of mistrust from you, Pisces. <laughs> Almost like you're approaching me as a friend, but is that a sword over there that I see? You know, it's like you really don't trust them. You feel like you got, they got something up their sleeve. They've got something up their sleeve and some of you think it's it's a money issue that they really just are coming back just to ask you for money. Others, you're feeling like they're coming back just to stir up more drama and to be emotionally manipulative with you. All right. So let's go ahead and look at the full card and see what risk they want to take with you or that they want you to take with them. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. I just heard sidekick. At one point, one of you might have been each other's sidekick. Oh, but the other one ran the show. Mm. I'm getting some codependent energy with this. This was a codependent relationship. Whatever kind of relationship this was, whether it was a friendship, a business partnership, a coworker, family member, uh, there was a code, co codependent energy there between the two of you. And one of you liked to run the show. I feel like it was them, not you. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. I'm also getting a lot of backhanded compliment energy, but this is feeling like it's in the past when you first were, you know, in each other's lives. Tell me about the fool for Pisces. Yeah, it almost feels like like two friends, two friends that, you know, had to had to go separate ways. Tell me about the fool for Pisces. Could also be a lover. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Okay. Tell me about the fool for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the fool for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Oh. Oh yeah, some of you those are straight up lover lovers gemini energy it's also my divine soul connection card so soulmates twin flames divine counterparts whatever resonates with you either way a very 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 deep 
soul connection here that you have with this person. But Page of Swords in reverse, you just see them as a liar. You see them as a liar. You see them as someone who's just trying to sell you a dream. Wow. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool for Pisces. Yeah, they're not happy. Look at this. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me. Ten of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy could also be Earth or Air. This is someone who is very greedy. This is someone who's very greedy and way too focused on money. And that focus on money, that focus on materials, that focus on image, led them to be really unhappy in life. They chose. They chose love. Of, they chose money over love. They chose money over love. Oh, that's why I was getting buyer's remorse. Got it. Okay. They chose money over love and you just see them as someone who's just a liar. They're just going to lie to you. No matter how deep your connection is, even if you're besties, even if you were, you know, even if this was like the love of your life at one point, you just see them as a liar. They're trying to sell you a dream because they're really unhappy in their own life because they, because they put focus on things they shouldn't have put focus on. Okay, let's see what else we got. It's oh, going to make me crazy. Tell me about the fool for Pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd tell me about the fool for pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd okay let's see what we got here Ooh, ace of pentacles pisces they might have a gift for you I, i'm still feeling handout though so some of you this is them asking for money but they might oh they're gonna act like they have more than what they actually have yeah, but they, they do want an opportunity with you. At the end of the day, this is the opportunity they want with you. They want a fresh start. They want a fresh start, but it's, again, I'm getting this like money-based energy. It's almost like you're just waiting them to, to ask you. There's a little bit of a history with that for some of you. Some of you, not all of you. Some of you, you're going to sit down with this person and just be like, how much do you need? What are you talking about? Just tell me how much you need. You know, it's going to be like, it's going to be like that for some of you. Yeah, I, I'm not liking all this pentacle energy. Usually I love pentacles because pentacles is also, is not just about money. You know, it's also about tangible things, about security. It's about prosperity. It's about your success. Um, it's about feeling secure in life, right? Um, but I'm just getting money, 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 money with this person. Overall energy for the full, we do have the Queen of Cups. Um, Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. This is definitely your energy, Pisces. Again, they want to take this leap of faith with you. Underneath that, we do have the Page of Cups and Apology. They're going to apologize to you for whatever's transpired. Again, you just see them as a liar. As a liar, someone who's money-focused, image-focused, materialistic. Um, they always chose money over love, money over emotions, money over, over true happiness. And that's led them to a really bad place, is what I'm getting. A really bad place, but they want a new shot with you. They want a new shot with you. Some are going to act like they actually have a gift for you or that they actually have, like, have more than what they actually have just so they can ask you for stuff later or to just keep re-emphasizing this, this image, the image of image, <laughs> right? The image of status. Thank you. That's probably a better way to say it. And there are, and some are going to ask you for money straight out the gate. Wow. Okay. Let's keep it going. I'm curious about the drama attached to this person. Let's look at the drama. I'm actually going to use the Alice in Wonderland deck for this one. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. For Pisces, regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Pisces, regarding love from now until the 23rd. I Oh, I'm getting a download. This is only going to be for like a handful of you. Pisces, I'm getting this energy of you leaving this person a while back because of some major um, issues around them like impulsively spending for some, excuse me, for some that was spending on like a, a substance abuse issue. Others, it was just, you know, got even like a shopping addiction. Uh, no matter what, it seemed like this person just can't ever hold on to their money or spend it responsibly. And so whenever you were involved with this person as a friend, a family member, or a lover, you dipped, you dipped because you couldn't handle it anymore. You couldn't handle um, the immaturity. You couldn't handle the fact that you felt like you had to be their pillar, that you had to almost take care of them a lot. You know, it's just they weren't responsible. 
They weren't responsible and you dipped. That's only for a few of you though with that. Again, money's all over the place with this, but that's only for a few of you. Talking about the Knight of Swords in reverse. All right. For Pisces regarding love. From now until the 23rd. They might even blamed you at that time that you abandoned them, but you did what you had to do for those in the, who were in that situation. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. For Pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. Four of Cups, Cancerian energy. Ooh. Getting a sense of rejection. Also a little bit of a pity party here. Whatever drama that you have in your head associated with this person, because it's almost like you the bad memories, right? The bad memories of how shit went down. Um, oh, you felt like they didn't really care about you, Pisces. I'm hearing scapegoat. They kept you around for their own purposes. That's how you feel. Whether it's true or not, that's how you feel, Okay. And this person does have a habit of kind of being a martyr is what I'm getting a little bit of a martyr. They like to, they like to throw little pity parties for themselves, claiming that, you know, they're a victim or claiming, claiming this, claiming that, even if it's not true, just to, I'm almost getting like for a need of attention, need of attention. Let's see what we got here. Five of cups in reverse scorpionic energy. Wow. I, f I feel for this person. Clearly this person just has a lot of growing to do and a lot of healing to do. I'm getting depression. They feel like they lost a lot whenever you two went your separate ways. They feel like they lost a lot, okay? Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Oh, High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Secrets being revealed. <clears throat> I feel like this person was not very um, straight up with you regarding their emotions. Like I said, very ingenuous when it came to their emotions. Well, you're about to get the full spiel on what they really have felt um, while you two were dealing with each other and them re returning. That's going to be part of this conversation that you're going to be having. They're going to be telling you everything. Talking about Knight of Swords in reverse. But I feel like you're just going to look at them and be like, are you just trying to have a pity party? You know, it's you can't even really believe in what they're telling you because of everything that's happened between the two of you. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Oh, that's it. Overall energy, we have three of wands in reverse Aries energy. Oh, man. Ships not coming in, stuff not stuff not happening the way that they really wanted it to. I'm getting that pity party energy again. It was supposed to happen this way. It was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen for me. It was supposed to happen for me. It's, it's like that's part of what their dialogue is. They might even be actually saying this to you. Like, they expected something to really come their way. I feel like they expect people to just come their way. They expect things to go their way. Thank you. We get there eventually. They expect things to go their way. And when it doesn't happen, they don't know how to deal with life. Well, tis life, right? Underneath that, we've got that Five of Pentacles energy again, right? Feeling abandoned, feeling like they've lost, feeling like they don't have anything to show for their efforts. Because, well, it, didn't, it was supposed to happen that way. It's what I wanted. Why don't I get to have it? Because that's not how life works. Right? I think that's what caused a lot of drama between the two of you. If something didn't go their way, they flipped out. They flipped out or they couldn't cope with it. And then boom, you dipped. You dipped. We'll look at the Eight of Cups and then we'll pull some advice and then we'll wrap it up, okay? Um, Gilded. Yeah, Gilded. Let's do Gilded. Let's talk about the Eight of Cups for Pisces regarding love. From now until the 23rd. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd. Yeah, temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energies. 
I'm hearing some of your higher selves, like your inner dialogue. Um, I'm not dealing with crazy anymore. <laughs> so some of you guys are saying, um, yeah, you realize this person was very imbalanced, realizing that they have some self-control issues, some impulsive indulgent issues, right? Again, some of you, there's that substance abuse issue for some of you that you were dealing with with this person. I don't want to deal with the, san with the insanity anymore. Some of you are saying that. I can't deal with the insanity. I'm not going to deal with the insanity, which is why some of you dipped and why you guys are kind of leaving this person. Yeah, I don't think any of you are going to be dealing with this person long term. I think you're going to hear them out and then just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd. Time about Eight of Cups for Pisces regarding love from now until the 23rd. Time about Eight of Cups for Pisces regarding love. Wow. Wow. From now until the 23rd. I'm amazed at what I'm seeing, guys. All right. So now we have Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus energy. Six of Pentacles in reverse, uh, Taurian energy. You see a theme here? And then we, yeah, then we end with a Page of Cups in reverse, ingenuous emotion. Yeah, you you just see them as someone who's too imbalanced. They're too imbalanced. They're they're too much about indulgence. Some have substance abuse issues. They they don't lead a balanced, grounded life. And a lot of them are too focused on money, too focused on materials, too focused on whatever's going to make them feel good in that moment. And they've always chosen that over true happiness and true emotional fulfillment and self-love. And Pisces, you're throwing your hands up in the air and you've had it. Especially with this energy, with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is a major digression, digression, regression of energy. From the eight to the seven to the six, all in reverse. I'm, I'm just getting spiral, man. <sighs> spiral. You see this person as someone who just spirals out of control and you don't want to be on that ride anymore. You've done it. You've, ri you've ridden it. You have that badge. <laughs> you don't need to do it anymore. Um, you're dealing with someone who is very unproductive, can't focus, can never focus. It almost seems like they enjoy... How do I say this? They like drama. They don't know how to live in peace. They don't know how to live without drama. They live a very imbalanced lifestyle. And with the Page of Cups in reverse, they're very unapologetic about it. They're apologizing to you, but you think they're full of shit. You think they're only apologizing to you to get what they need out of you. And Pisces, I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. Overall energy, we do have King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. More um, controlling energy, volatile energy. A King of Wands in reverse. Oh, focus. King of Wands in reverse can be very, very volatile because they don't have control. And when someone doesn't have control, they try to get more and more control or get a hold of things or people that make them feel like they have control, like substances, like money, right? Like anything that makes them feel good. You know who you're dealing with, and that's why you're bouncing. That's why you're just, you're saying no. You might hear them out and hear what they have to say, and you're going to be like, you're a liar. <laughs> you're a liar. I know what you're about, and I know you're imbalanced, and I'm not dealing with this. And I'm not trying to throw shade at anybody who's imbalanced or who has mental health issues. I'm not, I'm not, throwing, I'm not throwing any shade there, guys. Um, we've all got our own cross to bear. But you, you have your standards, Pisces. You've grown a lot. And I feel like this situation is reminding you of how far you've come. Very much like the Scorpio reading. You might want to watch that. Uh, let's pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck. Any advice from a Pisces regarding this spread? I feel for this person. I do. But clearly they just, they need to heal and they need to grow. But they can't depend on anyone else to make that happen. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Keep in mind, guys, this eclipse energy, the second one, there is a lot of tests. There is a lot of tests to ensure that we've really taken care of our karma and taken care of our, um, our issues and closed out some major um, cycles that we don't need in our lives anymore, okay? So keep that in mind as you're going through this energy. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread?
Any advice? Oh, I love it. Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. 52, breaking down to a seven. This is a manifestation energy. Um, and it's, oh, I'm just hearing special, special, special. <laughs> Pisces, you are special. Okay, you are you are a special bird. All right, and the energy of fifty two breaking down to a seven, being on your path and making the right decisions. You are making the right decisions for yourself, Pisces, and this decision to walk away, very much the right choice because you're trying to manifest more love in your life because you're feeling so damn good, right? Because you're feeling so damn good, you're feeling special, you're feeling on top of the world as far as your self love and confidence is concerned that you're still going to walk that path and you're not going to let this person take you off of it, okay? Any other advice for Pisces? Ooh, Wombat Spirit. Be at home with the energy of 68. What does that break down to? A five. That breaks down to a five. So change and transformation. You have changed a lot, Pisces, from the person you used to be when you first were involved with this person. Friend, family, friend, family lover or otherwise you have changed a lot and you become a lot more comfortable in your own skin in your own little bubble there <laughs> you become a lot more comfortable with yourself <clears throat> and a lot more confident in yourself and especially in the way you look is what I'm getting too Pisces um some of you I think had some you know we've all been there too sometimes some we have some insecure days about the way we look but you're over that you're over that you're very confident now you're very comfortable in your own skin any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread Ooh. oh oh yeah see look at this look at look how confident you are Pisces peacock spirit let it shine 46 that's a cyclical energy so what did I say about cycles you're closing on a major cycle here by turning your back on this person once and for all okay and if you don't want to turn your back on this person you don't have to it's your life I'm not telling you what to do I'm just telling you what the cards are telling me, right? Um, but letting it shine, you're standing so true in your power. Hold on, please focus. There we go. Standing so true in your confidence. This is a major confidence card, okay? Also being true in who, to who you are and what you feel. This is a lot of throat chakra and heart chakra energy. So being true in your emotions and speaking that truth, right? Very nice. Very nice, Pisces. Keep up that confidence. Keep up that self-love because you're just going to get more of it back. Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Okay. All right. Now we've got, oh yeah, very nice. Elephant spirit, learn from the past and chameleon spirit, act as if 14 breaking down to a five and then you got 25 breaking down to a seven. We do have mirror numbers here. Okay. So keep that in mind. We got mirror numbers. That's very synchronistic. If you've been seeing a lot of mirror numbers, okay. Um, but learning from the past and chameleon spirit, this is about adaptability and resilience because you are a hell of a lot wiser, hell of a lot stronger, hell of a lot more confident and full of love for yourself than you ever used to be. You're in a really great place here, Pisces, and you're not going to let anyone take that away from you. You've adapted and you know how to adapt moving forward if you get a curveball in life. If you get more change in your life, you know you're going to be okay. You're more resilient because you dealt with this person once already. And you're realizing that this feels very much like the scorpionic reading scorpionic reading the scorpio reading definitely check that out if you have scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with a scorpio um but either way pisces nothing's going to get you down from here on out nothing you're never going to go back to the person you used to be you're just too damn confident <laughs> you're just too damn confident and then overall we have moth spirit surrender now 39 breaking down to a three i feel like this is surrendering to who you really are which you've already done and this whole situation is really cementing that for you. It's cementing that surrender to that confidence, to that self-love and being proud about it and unapologetic about it as well, right? It feels really, really good. Really, really good. Um, so Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Pisces.